wealthiest woman, Countess Out, has just checked into the town's finest hotel. And as a gesture of goodwill, she has allowed her fabulous jewels to be displayed in the lobby. I see they're well guarded by the chief of police himself. And I'd like to see any man try to take them. How about a woman? Drop those jewels. I'll toss you for them. I brought you some flowers, Chief. Thank you, Karate. Chief, do you have any idea who the jujitsu expert was? Yes, Batfink. We found her picture in our files. It's Judy Jitsu. Judy Jitsu? Karate, we're going to pay Miss Judy Jitsu a little visit. We are? I must locate her hideout. My supersonic sonar radar will help me. She's in there. I'll take the back door, Karate. You take the front. Judy Jitsu! Yes? You're beautiful! You're adorable! You're... you're under arrest! And you're out of your mind. Why did I flip for her? Judy, Judy, Judy. That thing. That wasn't nice, Judy. I'm afraid I'll have to take you to jail. I don't go anywhere with strange bats. Your jujitsu cannot harm me. My wings are like a shield of steel. Maybe my jujitsu cannot harm you, but your wings can. Boy, that's jujitsu like my mother used to make. Where are you going, Judy? I'm going out of town, and you and Batfink are going out of this world. Don't forget to write! When I cut this rope, those weights will detonate the dynamite and blow you both to kingdom come. Horror of horrors! Batfink's incapacitated and Karate's in love. Whoever thought that Batfink would come out second best to a woman? But even in crime fighting, it's ladies first. I came to in the nick of time. One more nick and we would have been finished. Now to capture Judy Jitsu. Don't hurry, Batfink. Going my way? Chief, the jewels have been returned, and Judy Jitsu's in jail where she belongs. Good work, men. Have some candy. Thanks. It's visiting day at the jail. Just an armored car. I get a new model every year. It's Hugo Agogo, the world's maddest scientist. Don't you realize Batfink is sure to arrest you? Oh, no, he won't. He'll be too busy thinking of himself. The last time he was here, I sprayed him with my latest invention, Ego Agogo. Ego Agogo? Right now, Batfink is becoming the most conceited bat in the whole world. Why don't you swish fan over to his split-level cave and see for yourself? Mirror, mirror in my hand. Tell me the truth. Aren't I grand? Bad Frank, I got all your awards and trophies down from the attic like you told me. Where shall I put them? Everywhere. 
This is my favorite, the Bat of the Year Award from Time. Rodney Batfink here. Rodney Batfink? Just plain Batfink sounds so, so ordinary. I deserve a name worthy of the superhero I am. How about Sir Winston Batfink? Uh, pardon me, your Batship, but you go a go-go just stole an armored car. And I suppose you want me to get you and your incompetent cops off the hook again, eh? Oh, very well. My good man, prepare my auto. The Great One rides again. Stand where you are, Hugo Agogo. I'm going to give you something you'll never forget. My autograph. Oh, boy! I think maybe I made that spray too powerful. Go ahead, you silly, foolish little man. Run away. You're no match for lovable little me. Your bullets cannot harm Hotshot. His wings are like a shield of steel. That's right. I forgot. Good shot. Thank you. Batfink, do something. Hugo a go, go is going to shoot us. Fear not, Karate. No fifth-rate road company Boris Karloff could ever triumph over a handsome, brave, noble, cute superhero like Errol Batfink. Errol? Oh, no, this is too easy. I can't do it. I'll spray him with Ego Agogo Remover and make it like old times. Hugo Agogo, you villain, you foul fiend. That's my bad fink. Now I can finish you. If he had to go, at least he's going like the humble, courageous, shy, brave. Please, no more. See what we mean, folks. Farewell, modest friend. <laughs> That gave me just enough time to regain my strength and break our bonds. But the bullet! It hit your chest! And bounced off this. The Bat of the Year Award! I'm ashamed to say, when I was under the influence of your ego a go, go spray, I put this plaque next to my heart. Oh, no! That's right, Hugo. It's your own doing that Batfink had a stuffed shirt.